Hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video and welcome back to episode two of crocheting an outfit for all of my build-a-bears. If you haven't seen episode one, I highly recommend that you check that out first and then come back to this video, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Today I will be crocheting another outfit for one of my build-a-bear frogs and today I have chosen the classic light green frog. Everybody say hello to Miss Spork. She is just absolutely so precious. She loves long walks on the beach and using a spork for every meal. Now she deserves a super cute outfit that she she can wear to go spork shopping so i'm gonna start thinking up a super sporkalicious outfit concept idea for her let's use my very refined graphic design skills in good old ms paint and try to sketch out concepts here since she is bright green she's kind of giving me spring vibes green grass plants flowers all that kind of good stuff so i thought some overalls would be absolutely perfect for miss spork and we can also add some flowers all over for even more of a springy vibe I also thought of the most precious idea for a little hat to go along with the outfit, which will be a little flower that she's just wearing on her head upside down. Honestly, I can't even tell you how excited I am to make this. For my yarn today, I raided my closet and chose these colors for the outfit. These are all like roughly worsted weight yarn. I say roughly because I can feel that some of them are like slightly thicker than the other ones. I'll also be using a size J or six millimeter hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors. Optionally, a Stanley cup with a little frog straw cover is highly recommended for maximum frog vibes but okay let's get to work i'm gonna start with the overalls themselves since they are the largest piece that we're making today for my previous build a bear outfit i did do a few test pieces first for the top that i made last time i made like a little sweater last time just because it had sleeves and like it was a little more finicky so i wanted to make sure that i got like the dimensions right and stuff like that before i made the actual thing but this time the overalls are a little bit more forgiving so i kind of totally winked my way through the overalls and luckily it just worked out. I'm making these overalls from the bottom up so I'm essentially starting off by making two tubes and these are going to be the pant legs for the overalls and as long as these fit over the frog feet like as long as they're stretchy enough then you're good. They'll fit fine. I did 25 double crochets around for these and at least with the yarn that I used that was plenty stretchy enough to go over the frog feet. I'm sorry Miss Spork you just kind of have big feet. So here's what one finished leg looks like and I went ahead and finished up the other one. So now we're going to go ahead and join these together to create the pants part of the overalls. Something that I think I also mentioned in the first video is that I'm trying to use up a lot of my yarn. I really honestly have like way too much yarn for how little I crochet these days and I still have a ton of yarn from like six years ago or something like that. Like why do I still have that stuff? I need to use it up already. So I'm glad to use up some of this yarn even though it doesn't use up a whole bunch of it but especially this blue yarn which I think is one of the six year yarns and I'm not the biggest fan of this blue color but I do think it's really really good for a nice little pair of overalls that we're making here. It's kind of close to like that denim color kind of. So here's how it looks so far. It does have a giant crotch hole, but I promise that that will be fixed. Now I'm just going to continue working in rounds to build up the overalls, which let me just say this took a bit because Miss Sporkalicious here is a little bootylicious, if you know what I mean. I had to crochet a bit extra to cover her butt, but it's okay. I'm just going to work rounds of double crochets now until it reaches a point that I just think that it looks good. And after every couple of rows, I make sure to have Miss Spork try everything on just to check the sizing and like how it's all fitting her. And you can see what I mean about her being a little bootylicious. I did end up adding just one increased row just to give her a little extra room back there all the while trying not to die laughing at the crotch hole that I still need to sew up. I'm sorry Miss Spork you deserve better than this. <laughs> but anyways here's where I decided to stop. I went ahead and bound off and cut off my yarn and now I'm going to try to figure out like roughly how wide and how tall I want this chest piece of the overalls to be. I'm just trying to like visualize it in my head how tall is it going to be, how many stitches across do I want this to be and I'm going to use some stitch markers to mark out what I think is a good width and then just go ahead and attach my yarn and get straight into crocheting the first row like who even needs to take the clothes off of the built pair not me so here's that first row finish and i'm just gonna keep working this up doing double crochets and you know turning my rows and all that stuff here's me continuing to work on that chest piece i just wanted to take a sec here and give a huge thank you to everybody who watched my dollar store crochet video that video like randomly popped off out of nowhere so thank you so much if you watched it i really did put a lot of work into it and it took me so long and if you're watching this video i also 
also appreciate you. As you know, I kind of just post whatever like I genuinely feel like posting. The fact that you love the crochet stuff makes me really, really happy because it's something that's obviously very near and dear to me and it has been for 10 years now. Thank you very much. But next I'm gonna start marking out the straps here on the back of the overalls, attach my yarn and start chaining a strap to go across the other shoulder because of course these have to be crisscross straps. I mean, legally. So I'm just making a long chain and then slip stitching back on that chain just to make it like a little bit thicker. After I finished the first one, I got to work on the second doing the same thing by, you know, attaching the yarn and chaining a bunch of chains and then slip stitching back on the chain. I did have a supervisor as you can see, but I think she was just there for my yarn. I don't know. I had a hunch. So here's what the finished straps look like. I did leave a little loop at the end of each one just so I could attach them to some buttons on the front of the overalls and they just crisscross just like this and boom, overall straps. But yes, buttons. I've had these dollar store buttons for forever and I was thinking either the blue or the yellow would be really cute for the overalls. I was comparing both colors and sizes and while I think both are very cute, they both have their own vibe, I decided to go with the yellow since they will match the little flowers that we're gonna put on the front of the overalls as well. So I was just gonna use a yarn needle and some of the same blue yarn as the overalls to sew these in, but the yarn needle was too big to fit in the buttonholes. So I had to opt for a sewing needle and thread which worked perfectly fine. So I got those all sewed on and is it giving Mario overalls? Yes, I did realize that as I was making them, but please just trust the process, okay? Please please. Moving on, I'm sure you'll be relieved to know that our next step is to sew in the yarn tails, which includes sewing up the crotch hole. I know, I know, you're welcome. Miss Spork, you can finally wear these overalls in public. Once all the tails are sewn in, here's what the overalls are looking like. Super cute, if I do say so myself, and they are the perfect base for pretty much anything that we would want to add on these overalls, but we already know what we're going to add, don't we? So let's get to work on that. Actually, I'm going to work on a little flower hat first. Sorry, I forgot that's what's next but to me it just makes sense to work on like the biggest piece to the smallest piece so the hat is just up next in the timeline this hat was a little tricky because i didn't really know how to get the shape that i was envisioning in my head but i think it worked out for the most part like since the hat is basically just an upside down flower i started making just kind of like a wide cone shape i don't really know how to describe it but the goal was wide cone shape and the frog build bear specifically are kind of weird to make hats for since their eyes are up on their head where like other animals would have ears instead. So I can't really make a hat that goes over the ears because it's their eyes for the frog Build-A-Bears, like if that makes sense. I've seen people make hats for Build-A-Bear bears before and they make like little hats that fit the top of the bear's head, but like they leave two holes for the ears to poke out of, which is really, really cute, but you can't really do that with Build-A-Bear frogs because like that's their eyes, you know? We have to settle for a super tiny mini hat that just sits like right in between their eyes. That's why I thought that the flower would work really well because it's kind of just like, oh, a random flower that just happened to fall on our little froggy's head and she's just wearing it very casually as a little hat. And while I was trying to brainstorm hat ideas and I was like, okay, we can only have like a little hat that goes right here. That made me think of like a little party hat or a little clown hat. So definitely I think there either has to be like a party or clown or like a mesh of both outfit that needs to be made in this series. So I'm very excited for that. So once I finished the white part, I wanted to make the like like stem part thingy to sit on top of the white part. I basically just did like a smaller version of the white part just in green and that worked out fine. I also love this shade of green yarn. It's almost identical to Spork's natural color and we love that. So here are all the pieces for the hat, including the flower bulb, the stem thingy and the extra little stem thingy. I'm sorry, I really don't know anything about flowers. I'm gonna go ahead and sew this all together so that it's one piece and our hat will be finished. And there we go, here is the finished hat. It's not super perfect, but I think it came out very cute, very whimsical, very cottage core. Love it. But okay, our last and final piece or pieces that we have to work on are the little flowers for the overall. So I'm going to start with a little yellow circle for the middle part to match our buttons, of course. That was the whole goal. And I'm going to do five petals for our flowers. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like when I'm like drawing or crocheting flowers specifically, like they have to have five petals. Otherwise, it's just weird. Like if it's any more, if it's any less, it just looks weird to me. I don't know. Like am I the only one? I feel like flowers need to have five petals. Like that's 
that's the rules <laughs> but anyway here's our first finished flower looking super duper cute and next is one of the more annoying steps in this project if you know me you know i hate weaving in and so when you do multiple colors of yarn like this it tends to leave a lot of like little extra tails so i had to deal with four yarn tails per flower which just made it a little more time consuming so i opted just to uh tie them in a knot and snip off the extra yarn tails like that's that's all i had energy for speaking of running out of energy yeah i was not gonna sew on all the flowers so we're going we're going hot glue gun i'm sorry i personally am not afraid to use a little hot glue for my crochet projects in a pinch especially if it helps me to avoid a lot of the very tedious very time consuming sewing that i don't like to do and also trust me sewing these flowers onto the double crochet stitches specifically is just kind of awkward the double crochets are like a little bit too open for that and it just makes it kind of difficult so hot glue it is honestly it's it's the answer and i know that in my concept sketch we did have like a little pocket on the front of the overalls and that was the plan to add it but when i placed a flower like right there where the pocket was supposed to be it looked way too cute to not put there so sorry the pocket got swapped for an extra flower and you know what i'm not mad about it so that was our final step and once we finished here she is miss spork in all of her cottagecore springy floral garden coated glory she is beautiful she is everything and i'm very happy with how all of this turned out the overalls were super easy and from there it was just adding the extra details so that is our finished outfit for the next outfit in this series of crocheting outfits for all my built-up air frogs and i forgot to mention also i did end up adding like a little strap to the <laughs> flower hat it's very precarious if you kind of like jiggle her the wrong way it's gone it's gone but i thought that would be really cute and i thought that like having the little ties under her chin would be super adorable as well but yeah this one was really fun honestly this one was so much faster i don't know if it actually was faster or just felt faster than the first one that i did i guess because i technically only made one piece and then like the little extra things were just very quick the overalls are a vibe i definitely think i want to make more overalls for future build-a-bear frogs and do like different themes and stuff like that so i'm very very excited let me know what did you think of this outfit do you love it is it a sleigh um let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe and like this video for more crochet content i have other crochet videos on the channel if you want to check them out or i have other plushy videos or i have other animal crossing videos or vlogs anyways i'm gonna get going thank you so so much again for watching and we will see you in the next one